Hey guys, Caleb here with Steve Meyer Service today to talk to you about the Toro Time Cutter 42 inch with the fabricated deck. All right, so first off, we have your smart speed control system right here. So this acts as a high, medium, and low gearing for your transmissions. And what that allows you to do is put it in the low gear so it lessens the overall speed and sensitivity. Now why that's important, if you're a beginning operator, it's great because you can put it up there in the low gear. Now you can easily learn without being overwhelmed. Then once you get real nice and comfortable with it, put it back down into the fast position and you can get that full speed out of a zero turn. As we go to the left here, you're going to have your height of cut. <clears throat> you can see that the height of cut ranges from one and a half all the way up to four and a half, going up by the half inch increments. In order to change your height of cut, what you're going to do, put your hand on here and you're going to pull up and towards you the operator. That's going to take this out of its little pin system here. Then you can move your handle for your different height of cut ranges and then let it kind of pull itself back in and that will be set at your desired height of cut. So real nice and easy to adjust that. Then as we go back to the little bit of a tight squeeze here, then as we go back to the operator controls, we're going to have your throttle, your choke, your key switch, and your blades. In order to start the machine, what you're going to want to do is have that in the full throttle position pull all the way up on the choke and then turn your key over then once it fires go ahead and push your choke back down to where it's all the way off <clears throat> then when you're ready to engage your blades what you're going to do is at full throttle go ahead and pull up on that yellow button reason being that we want to start the blades at full throttle it's going to help get everything going uh, you know up to speed faster if we were to engage it at a low rpms uh, it could kind of lug the engine or you know, let the belt flop around and that could lead to premature wear in the belt or it could even pop it off one of the pulleys. Then when you're ready to shut the blades off, push down on that button, you're good to go. Uh, shutting this unit down, you can shut it down full throttle, half throttle, low throttle, that, that's all a matter of personal preference. Uh, as we go under the seat here, that's going to get us real nice and easy access to the battery. So in order to change your battery, just take your bungee off here, uh, take off your connections at both terminals, change that battery out and you are good to go. Then back here at the engine, we got a 22 horse Kohler 7000 series. Uh, so it is going to be pretty easy to service. Uh, and we'll show you what some of the service components are here. Uh, you got your dipstick. So all you got to do is pull that out. That will check your level. That is also going to be your fill. Then right here, there's your oil filter. There's your fuel filter. There's one of your spark plugs. There is your other spark plug. Got your air filter on top here. Real nice and easy to take that off. That way it easily comes off. You can change that out. Place it back on. Latch those. And you're good to go. Uh, on the time cutters, if you would like to disengage the transmissions, uh, we have your transmission relief valves back here. That was already disengaged because we were pushing them on the floor but if you want to disengage them what you're going to do push them in and down that's going to release the transmission so you got to do that to each side now keep in mind the parking brake on the time cutters is electronic so what we still need to do is go up here to the running or to the key switch make sure it's in the running position and then you want to turn pull one stick in once you hear that noise that's your parking brake disengaging now we would be able to push the unit, then once you're done, go ahead and pull that stick back out, turn the key off, that way we don't drain your battery, and then you want to make sure that you pull those pins back out so that your unit is ready to drive. As we continue to go to the left, we got your gas tank right here, uh, has a three gallon capacity, and you have the see-through, let's see here, you got the see-through here on the front. So this is going to read your fuel level. Uh, now what we don't want you to do, don't go above this. This is considered full. If you were to go too far above and try and, you know, top it off, uh, that's actually going to end up flooding the vent for the tank. That's going to put excess fuel back at the engine, and that could cause poor running performance. So once it gets up to the top here, go ahead and stop filling. Uh, one more note on the fuel tank. You got your gas cap here. Uh, real nice and easy gas cap. It is a ratcheting cap, which means that uh, you can't over tighten it once you hear the clicks. 
that's how you know it's tight. So that's pretty pretty easy. Then we're gonna squeeze through again one more time. You have your belt covers. So it's got this little hitch pin here. So you're gonna pull those out. You're gonna push on that screw head and then that's gonna let you take your belt cover off. So really nice to, to easily be able to do that. That way you can keep all the grass and the debris out from under there and uh, you know, keep your mower nice and clean. Make sure your belt's you know, not getting anything up in it. So it's nice that they have that, that easy feature. Then push it back in, push it down till you hear the click, take your pin and you're good to go. Uh, we also have your washout port right here. You will have the fitting supplied to you in the owner's manual. All you gotta do, hook that fitting up to the hose, plug it onto the deck, turn on the water, turn on the deck, and that will wash out the deck. Um, all right, guys. Well, that is the Toro Time Cutter 42-inch with the fabricated deck. Thanks for watching.